Today I thought it'd be interesting to show you the refueling systems. This year we've got refueling races every Sunday, so there's going to be a lot of this going on. I thought we'd start with this system that we used to use uh, on the ZB Commodores here at BJR, but this is a system that supercars have used for many, many years. Really simple system. One of these is for the fuel, the other one is the breather for the air, and you can see how thick that is. Um, we put the guide on the outside and, and this coupling, um, which is spring-loaded, depresses into here and fills the car up with fuel. Fuel comes in this one, fresh air goes out that one. So as the fuel's going out, it's pumping all the air out of. This system is certainly faster than the new one and I'll explain why to you in a minute. It has a guide that goes on the outside of the car. So, you know, as the car's coming in, you hook it in. So, um, we all had this system when these cars were built, but we decided to go to a Crontec system because they're safer. They're meant to be safer. Less chance of fuel spillage. We only ever had one fire with this system in supercars and coincidentally it was us at Townsville a few years ago, unfortunately. So, this system was deemed not quite safe or certainly not as safe as the Crontec system. This is quite a complex system. All the spring-loaded parts are all on the inside here and the way this system breathes is also in these, in, on the inside. You can see the different size hoses um, and so the fuel gets dropped into this slower than it does with, with redheads. It's quite a, a bulky system so obviously that's the piece that goes on the car. This is what the head looks like that you put on the fuel tower to plug in and you can see it has little catches there so when you finally get that thing guided in you let go of those it engages and the fuel starts to run through it um, as I said it's heavier and bulkier and a little trickier to use one of the good things about this system is it has this sensor that goes into the side and supercars can actually tell when it's engaged and when it's disengaged so all that arguing we used to have that you were still pulling out as a car hit the ground uh, doesn't happen anymore because with this supercars can tell exactly what's going on. So the other interesting thing about this system is we move it from one side of the car to the other depending on whether it's a, a right, where, where the pits are on the circuit. So whether it's a right hand or a left hand circuit. So we're always on the inside to do the refueling. So we move it from the driver's side to the passenger side depending where the pit lane's position. 